episode of Countdown Garage, we're going to get rid of some of the black paint on this bumper. It's old, it doesn't look good, and I just want it gone. I want to see the white underneath it. So the first test is going to be using some graffiti remover from Goo Gone. I'm going to basically spray this on and see if it works. And it says test in an inconspicuous area. Well, I don't really have an inconspicuous area, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray it on the bumper and give it a try. Because this stuff is paint remover, I am going to cover up paint uh, like on my tailpipe and I'm going to put a microfiber inside the bumper. Just keep any drips from coming down and dripping anywhere they shouldn't. So I'm going to go ahead and spray just a little bit on this corner just to see what happens when we first spray it on. I, I'm hoping that it will come off pretty quickly, but Again, this is a test, so let's see how it goes. And after just letting it sit for like maybe 30 seconds, yeah, there's nothing at all. I'm going to have to spray this on and let it sit for probably a good 10 minutes. So this is a time lapse of the video sped up about 2,000 times. and. Over this time period, you can actually see the paint begin to bubble and peel up. And I'm really hoping that after about 10 minutes or so, that the paint will be much easier to remove. So as you can see, after a little bit of time, yeah, it actually is a little easier to remove the paint. It's actually starting to come up. Um, you know, I'm just using a terry cloth here. Uh, I'm going to switch to paper towels here in a minute, but it is starting to come up, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep spraying it down and trying this technique. So after covering some of the bus with some paper and just covering the floor a little bit, I sprayed more on and kept removing it. Uh, it was coming off with spraying and then, you know, applying the graffiti remover and then using a terry towel to remove it. But, you know, I realized that I was going to have to let this sit a lot longer. So again, I, I sprayed some on and let it sit for about another 10 minutes. And I actually ended up doing this a number of times, you know, spraying and applying the graffiti remover, going back with a paper towel or a terry cloth and removing it, you know, seeing what I could do. It just didn't seem to be working very well. So I knew that I had to kind of come up with a different type of plan. So after going back and forth and back and forth with applying the graffiti remover and cleaning it off with a paper towel, I decided I need to do something more. So I found some blue Scotch-Brite, and this is where progress really started to pick up. I was actually starting to spray it on and using the blue Scotch-Brite, it would actually remove it a lot faster. So I continued this technique pretty much through the rest of the paint removal. Here's the end result of all that spraying on the graffiti remover and scrubbing and testing. I got most of the black paint off. You can see the white and silver underneath. The silver is actually the primer under the white. Uh, both are OEM Volkswagen colors. Uh, most of the black's gone. You can see kind of just on that front edge, I do have a little bit left that I need to get rid of. 
basically though from here i'm just going to continue to work down the bumper um you can see right about here i've got some rust spots that i need to take care of uh, it's where the bumper was repaired and i'll just move down the rest of the bumper uh spray in the graffiti remover using the blue scotch bright to remove some of the black and just keep working uh, it will take some time but uh, i think the end result will look great Right about this point, the bumper was looking pretty good. I had almost all the paint removed. So after cleaning up a little bit, I went ahead and grabbed my variable speed polisher with a foam polishing pad. And uh, I used some all-purpose polishing compound um, just to give it a little bit of help, uh, just to remove what I couldn't. Um, it actually cleaned it up quite a bit and did a good job at getting the rest of everything off of it that I needed to nice thing is you can actually see it taking off the rest of like kind of the remaining black looking paint um, the compound actually did a really good job of removing that now when I was done with that the next step was to grab my wool pad and change it out to that and then use my polisher to essentially just give what was left of the paint a good polish you actually see some good shine in the paint. Turned out really well, and I think it looks really good. After polishing, it was time to address the rust that had formed on the bumper post repair. So I went ahead and grabbed my drill and a cup style finishing wheel. I just went over the whole thing, cleaned it up, uh, and then I ended up, di I did give it a coat of WD-40, kind of the gel finish, just to give it a little bit of protection and keep it from rusting in the meantime. After all that, I went through with some detail spray and just cleaned up the rest of the buffing compound and everything that had gone over, and it's done. It actually looks really good. So that's the end of this video. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you liked this episode. If you did, don't forget to share and then hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And I'd also love to hear questions, comments, anything else down below to give me some things to talk about in the next video. And don't forget to follow Countdown Garage on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. See you guys next time.